Hello everybody, thanks for tuning in to Avid Max YouTube channel today. My name is Brady and we're going to show you how to tie a brassy. This is kind of a unique way to tie it. Uh, most of the time you'll see a brassy on either a standard curved shanked hook or even a straight shanked hook. Originally it was a straight shanked hook. Um, but we're going to use actually a caddis hook. It's a specialty hook by Gamakatsu. This is called the C12U and it's got a nice emergence look to it. It's got just a kind of a different head um, and body shape, gives it kind of that cool caddis look. Um, and we'll do with some other features to make it more of a caddis style brassy. So with that, we're gonna start with that hook and then we're gonna do the countersunk tungsten bead on there. This is the 564 size and in the black color. And the body of our fly is gonna be that brassy material, kind of where it comes from. Originally it was copper, um, but we're gonna do the caddis version and this is a, a nice bright attractor caddis. This is the um, small uh, chartreuse wire. That's gonna be our body material. Um, and then we're gonna finish it off with a little bit of peacock curl, just to, to give it some uh, leggy, legginess towards the front of the fly. Um, our thread today, we're gonna be using Vivas, and this is the Vivas uh, 12 watt and the olive color. We're gonna start our olive thread here, the 12 watt thread, just at, right behind the bead of this pattern. This is kind of a unique way to tie this fly. So this is uh, an old fly uh, developed a long time ago in Colorado. Uh, by a few guys and, and they started doing it with just copper wire uh, and they were also using um, black shrink wrap for the collar of the fly which is a little bit different than kind of evolved into the, the peacock curl. But the first thing we're going to do beyond that thread is tie in the wire and this is that chartreuse wire so it's just a little bit of a flare. We're going to do it as a caddis pattern and that's why we're using this Gamakatsu uh, curved hook, a caddis specific hook, kind of gives it a cool look. So most of the time with your brassy, you're gonna start in the back of the hook and work your way forward. The hard part about that is you have to have very consistent thread wraps. And then as you're coming forward, you're probably gonna get open gaps on the top anyways, just because of the curved nature of the hook shank. Uh, it's gonna be tighter wraps on the bottom of the hook shank and wider on the top. So I learned this watching in the riffle. And what he does is he ties it in just towards the front of the fly there and starts giving nice tight wraps towards the back of the fly, building up a base. So this does a couple of things. It, it creates that color underneath that you're trying to match on the top as you're going around. And then also, it adds a little bit of bulk. And when we're doing a caddis brassy, you wanna add a little bit of bulk to it versus a brassy that might imitate a midge in some smaller sizes. So we do nice tight wraps all the way to the back. And you can kind of push them up with your fingernail as you go. If they start to merge, again, those ones on top, they're gonna kind of splay apart just because of the nature of the ones on the bottom are, are closer together. So all the way back to the hook shank, back of the hook shank. So we start coming forward again. So we want a nice curved nature. Caddis are always kind of curled up, it seems, and kind of a U-shape, so this imitates that nicely. So once we get all the way to the back, we're gonna come back to the front, and again, still tight wraps on this. Just moving forward, and you can see, it's gonna wanna open up on you, and that's okay a little bit, it's kind of inevitable but with that under layer of the chartreuse wire, you're not gonna notice it much. It's just gonna be a nice clean body when you're all done. Use a lot of wire on this pattern, so make sure to give yourself a little bit of extra to work with. You don't wanna get back up to this halfway point and then realize you're out of wire and have to kinda of undo it and, and start over. If you can wrap that doesn't behave so nicely, you know, you can work on it. Tighten it up a little bit, just keep going. You can see I started using the, the rotary function on this vise. I kind of find it easier when I'm doing this type of wrapping just to do it the old fashioned way and you know, hand, hand over hand as you work your way forward. Just go back and do that a little bit tighter. There we go. And so we'll go all the way up to the thorax or really just the leg section of this caddis pattern and tie off our wire. And then 
we can helicopter right off of there, spin it, and just break it off what we don't need. Okay, so now we'll go back to where we're gonna tie in our next material, back to where those legs are gonna start. And for this, we're just gonna use a little bit of peacock hurl. We're gonna tie that peacock hurl in with the barbels facing downward. Make sure I got the section that I like here. And we'll tie it in right there like so. Come back up to the bead and do a quick half hitch. Keep everything in place. We go to wrap our peacock. And so I tied the peacock curl with the barbels facing downward as I like to do, because then you can give it the standard same, same uh, wraps as you did with your thread. Make sure you get your barbels to flare real nicely because this is gonna imitate the legs on our caddis nymph so we want those kind of sticking out and just giving a little bit of action as it's moving in the water uh, like it's the legs of the fly so a few wraps forward come back with our thread here and tie it off it's a pretty simple fly it's been around for a long time but it's a very effective fly tied in numerous colors and variations straight shanked curved shanked hooks uh, traditionally, it's that copper color, but you see it a lot in red and some greens. Um, and you can do it in a, a flashier style, kind of like this chartreuse body here. So that's going to be our caddis version of the brassy fly. See how that body kind of has that nice curve to it. This is going to fish the best towards the tail end of the summer um, through July into August and September. Uh, just based on the caddis species that are kind of hatching around more of your green body caddis. Um, it's going to imitate well and it's going to attract as well. There is your caddis brassy. Beadhead caddis brassy. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up. You can also drop us a line down in the comments with any suggestions on future flies that you'd like to see. For more fly fishing and outdoor related videos, please subscribe to our Avid Max YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you out there.